Hi everyone and thank you for joining me for another episode of Persephone's Pantry. I really hope you have all been enjoying my recipes so far and especially lately all of my veggie inspired um, recipes and today is no different. I'm going to be showing you how to make my veggie bean chili. So this recipe is obviously inspired by your traditional chili con carne. I've obviously subbed out the meat part and added an extra tin of beans. And I'm using two different types of beans today. I'm using my kidney beans and my black beans. And I've used a tin of each, which is once strained about 250 grams, so 500 grams of beans all together. Um, and just make sure you give them a really good rinse because they come with like kind of a gross sludge on top and just make sure you rinse all of that off. And then I'm gonna be using um, some capsicum, coriander, red onion, um, and some spring onions and then we fry it all together. Okay, so let's talk spice. We really want this dish to have a really nice kick and you can um, add this kick in a couple of different ways. I am going to add a small fresh chili from my garden. This has a powerful punch. I'm also going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper and some chili powder. You can add a glug of Tabasco. You can add some, your favorite chili sauce. As long as you get that nice punch, if that's what you like. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of different ways of getting that into the chili. I'm just gonna slice this up and then we'll fry this with the garlic. Okay, so I have my pan preheating and I'm just going to give a good glug of olive oil and then we're gonna fry off the red onion first. So my red onion. Oh, and the chili. Let's just do chili and garlic and onion because they obviously wanna be cooked. And then we'll just fry them off. You want it to be on quite a low heat because you kind of want them to sweat rather than um, to brown and burn quickly. So we'll just let them get a little bit brown and caramelized and then we'll add the capsicum. Okay, so now we're gonna add our colorful capsicum. Let that just soften. You don't want these to brown first. You want them to kind of soften um, nicely, sweat down a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all of my um, seasonings so they can kind of toast a little bit with the um, capsicum. So I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of chili powder and then two eight teaspoons of smoked paprika. This is kind of where all the flavor comes from, so don't be shy with your smoked paprika. And then a teaspoon of sweet paprika. And then some cumin. I'm gonna do two kind of level teaspoons of cumin. And then a little bit of cayenne pepper. So like one third of a teaspoon. Get that heat going. Mm, it's really starting to smell like fajitas now. So it's kind of the flavor combination we're going for. So that is a good sign. So we're just gonna let this, the spices toast off a little bit. Um, and then once the capsicum is um, sweated down, we'll add our tin tomatoes. Okay, so our capsicums have been sweating down nicely. I've just left this for about five minutes with the lid on. Before I put the lid on, I did actually add a tiny splash of water um, just to kind of um, deglaze the pan of all the spices. Um, and then that just helps prevent it burning as well. And then I'm gonna add the beans. I did say before the tin tomatoes, but I was lying. So the beans are stirred in nicely and now I'm gonna add my can of tinned tomatoes. Okay, 
you can use whatever tin tomatoes you have in your cupboard. I'm just using diced. And then we'll give that a stir. And you can add a little bit of water um, throughout the cooking process whenever you need to, if it's getting a bit dry. Okay, that is looking good. And I'm gonna leave that on a simmer for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and then I'll come back and check on it. Okay, so this is looking delicious, smelling really amazing. You can see everything is kind of really softened now. All the onions have kind of melted into the sauce. I did add about half a cup of water throughout the um, cooking process, kind of about 15 minutes in, and this has been simmering for about half an hour altogether. So now I'm gonna season the chili because we haven't done that yet. I'm gonna put about half a teaspoon of salt and then a nice grind of crap wrap pepper. And um, I'm now going to add half of the spring onions that we cut earlier. And I've also added some additional um, coriander, which I'll put a little bit aside and we'll use that for garnish. So I'm just going to use about three quarters of the, what was a cheeky bit of capsicum in there? Um, three quarters of the spring onions and then a handful of the coriander. I use the rest for garnish. Stir that in and then I'll turn it off. So everything is ready to serve up now. I cooked some rice earlier, just some white medium grain rice. Um, but you can, this in a fajita would be delicious or tacos, anything like that. If you don't want rice, just gonna serve up a little bit. And then I have some garnishes here as well. I'm gonna finish it with um, some diced avocado. I'm just gonna put a nice, Beautiful of that in the middle. Oh, this is pure comfort food. If it is winter where you are right now, this is the perfect, perfect dish. I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of coriander and some of those spring onions that we saved from earlier. And then I'm just gonna really quickly cut over my avocado. Just finely slice it. And just cut it into medium dice. And then I'll grab a spoon. And then I'm just gonna scoop out the contents from the husk. And then put it straight on top like that. Just gonna get rid of that little bit of shell. And then last couple of things. Nice squeeze of lime juice on top of the avocado. Really freshen everything up. And then, there's my little chili gun hiding. And I thought, because it's chili con carne, you should probably finish with a little bit of fresh chili. Obviously this is optional, but I love my chili. And there you have it, my veggie chili. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna give my veggie chili a little try. Very excited about this. A little bit of avocado, some rice. Mm. That is so delicious. It's got a really nice kick to it, but the avocado and the coriander and the lime juice really just balances everything out perfectly. Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Persephone's Pantry. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you gave this a try and tell me what you think. And this and so much more will be on my um, website, persephoneparkerthomas.com. So check out this recipe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.